<laughs> Can I get a mic check, please? Gareth. Mic check, 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 check. This is Charlie Parsons and Gareth A. Davis yeah. for the stomping ground. There we are. The stomping ground. Boom. <laughs> wow, hydrate's okay, but I'm just doing a skit, Charlie. It's your bloopers. Okay, shall we? I don't know if that can go in, which is a shame. That you don't know if that can go in. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck it up. Right, let's restart, guys. You let's. No, I'm not restarting anything. I'm on the way. No, I. I know you're sponsored by Wow Hydrate. Good for you. Thank and you. And the Zone Boxing. Yeah. And um. And long may they rain. Long may they rain, indeed. Um. How's your morning been so far, Gareth? Well. <laughs> Do you want to really know? I would love to really know. This is know. why I'm flying. I got up at about 10 to 7. What the fuck? Stop. I got up at about 10 to 7. And um, there was oil spurting out of my engine in my car. So I had to drive up about 20 miles. Um, I put my bike on the back because I thought, Do you know what? I'm not missing Dalton Smith and the Breakfast Club in London Bridge. I'm not missing Parsons. I'm not missing Pew. I'm not missing Purawal. I'm not missing Jonathan. I'm not missing Frank Smith or Louis Hart. And those are all the main five or six YouTube channels. Your rivals with much bigger followings than you, by the way. Yeah? Huge. Huge. They've got huge followings, as you will have. Our viewership pretty good. Yeah, you're, no, I'm teasing you. So I had to drive to the garage. There was an oil leak. Get my bike out, cycle three miles, go to Ingotstone Station, get on the train, come into Liverpool Street, cycle down to London Bridge. Then I'm off to lunch with Frank Warren. Are you coming? No, I wasn't You're invited. You've not been invited? Okay. Must have got then lost I'm in going the post. to do a podcast with Lady Chan in Kensington. With who? Lady Chan. Go on, tell me more. Um, she was a she was a rap artist and she does boxing interviews so we're doing that and then i'm going to that launch with the group um, adam smith adam well it's not adam smith no but it is well, a voice of boxing adam smith yeah oh, that's lady um, Chan. and a few of the others later on tonight are you going to that uh, i'm not going to that why not unfortunately. you're going back to the cotswolds we're going back to the you're going to chop a bit of cotswold stone Go and chop a bit of Cotswold stone. Why um, do you look so nervous today? I'm just a bit bewildered. I mean, our location is not where I, I didn't it's expect. It's very noisy. It is very noisy. Have Gareth, you interviewed Dalton Smith yet? No. What number are you in the queue? I don't know. Charlotte where, Daly was before you. She was before me. And She's me. excellent. And you were before me as well. Um, it's always good to do the last interview. I don't know. It depends. Depends on their mood. Well, not if you're chasing them to the train and they're going back to Sheffield. No, exactly. Right. Um, do you know what? I've got to say this. And, I, and thank you to everyone. I keep getting loads of people saying, I love your interaction with Charlie Parsons. Is he your son? No, he's not my son and he's not my grandson. Yeah? No, that I'm, I'm not. But he always calls me brother. Are you all right, brother? <laughs> God, Gareth, I actually love you, mate. Um, let's go into it then. A new promotional deal for Dalton Smith. Well, we've Smith. done the preamble, yeah. We've done the preem. Uh, a new promotional contract for Dalton Smith. They're going to be over the moon. Well, Dalton Smith is, has really uh, laid down a massive statement at the weekend against Jose Cepeda, three-time world title challenger. Weren't ex I mean... Uh, even Dalton said he wasn't expecting to stop him. I picked Dalton on late stoppage or points. But the breadbasket shot, as Barry Jones called it on commentary, perfect step-in shot, perfectly timed. Great to see him this morning, looking like uh, Charlie Hunnam out of uh, Sons of Ad Anarchy, looking virile, handsome. Um, and, you know, as I said, the reason why he's not fighting Adam Azim at the moment, Adam Azim has not got his man strength yet. And Dalton's got his. Just 27 is in a great place. So from speaking to Frank Smith this morning, as of Saturday night, they had no intent of taking the fight. And then it was, well, vacate then. But as of today, they're going to make a decision within the next 24 hours. Do you expect to see the Adam Azim fight? No, I don't want to see. I want to see Dalton and Adam Azim fight in about 15 months time when one of them's got a world title. Where we get 20,000 people, where it's sold out. Arena. Just pan to him right now. Look, he's, he's listening. Handsome dude. Looking good. Um, um, I, it, it's all about timing with fights, and it's not the right time at the moment. 
Regis Progre is the perfect fight Great for him. Fight. It's a real test for him. You know how good Regis is. Um, and Dalton's going to have a tough time against him. But I think Dalton wins on points. But he learns so much. And Il Rujaru, Southpaw. Great fight. Um, if the Progre fight happens, how does that go? Smith points. Ooh. Ooh. Take that to the States or bring a big name over here? No, bring him here. Bring them all here. Bring them all here to Sheffield. Bring them to Manchester. Bring them all here. Bring them to the O2 Arena. Keyshawn Davis, Chaco Stevenson, Ryan Garcia. We talked about it earlier. Him and Ryan Garcia is a fantastic fight. Dangerous fight for him. But as I told you before, and as I told Dalton, I've described him like a guy with an axe in each hand. Do you remember that description? Because yeah. um, he likes to stand in front of his opponents and maul them, chop them down like a, like a tree. And that's his style. He can take a punch, but he's quite clever at evading punches as well. So uh, what are you looking around for? Just sort of like assessing. It's a bit it's Do you a like bit someone that looks in. over someone's shoulder? It's a bit crammed Because they're already com co concentrating on the next no, interview. I'm, no, no, no. I'm definitely not doing that. You take priority, as always, Gareth. Um, I love teasing you because you're never sure. No, I, well, yeah, I'm just a bit like... It Have was you an been, early morning from the I Cotswolds. need to take you out for a long night one night and blood you properly. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> Connor Ben. We've oh, had the UK do you know joint. what? No comment. No what comment. a shame. No. You must have a bit of a comment. Oh. No, because I know too much about what's being planned and it scuppers everything. This is a, an absolute mess. It's been mired in chaos for so long. It's been so badly handled from everyone on every side, by Eddie, by Connor, by his team, by his lawyers. I, all right, it's a complicated case. He may be innocent. The testing system may be wrong. He may have been the victim of something that went horribly wrong, and I don't doubt that at all. But what a mess. What a mess. They should have got round a table and sorted it out. He's been out of the sport. Is it 18 months now? Oh, sorry. He's been out of the sport in the UK for 18 months. He's fought twice in America. Oh. Um. Oh, it's so... It's, it's the most complex... Um, failed drugs test I've ever come across. It may be the most complex one ever, but the way it's been handled, I can't believe that... that you see, the Boxing Board of Control and UK have the right now not to give him a license to fight in the UK or license him to fight in the UK or let him agree to fight in the UK. Um, it's so disappointing, all of it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I'm the one who asks the questions, Gareth. But I would agree that the situation is disappointing. Are you just the monkey, the not the organ grinder then? Basically, yeah. The 5v5. I think it'd be fair to say we can expect a few fights on there. One of them being Ammo Williams against Hamza Sharad. Well, I think agree? that'll be on there, yeah. Uh, we're hearing that uh, Philip Hergovic and Daniel Dubois for the IBF. What do you mean we're hearing? Who's we? Boxing fans. Okay, from who? Sources. Who's the sources? Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be. Okay, fine. Who, yeah, so you're not revealing your sources, and that's a good thing. Yeah, I think those two fights are potentially on the cards. Hearing about um, Zhang in the mix with Deontay Wilder. That was squashed last week, but when I spoke to Frank, it's it not seemed done like yet. could maybe it's be in the mix. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. Could maybe be in the mix, though. Any fights could be in the mix. Uh, They'll all be big fights. September UK card for the, uh, for the Saudis. Uh, we well, that's a long they... way off yet. Well, that's all right. We can discuss it. I believe Anthony Joshua will headline. Do what you? Do you well, think? I'm glad... Yeah, I believe you. Who do you think he fights against? There's loads of opponents there for him. Could be anyone. It won't be... It, it won't be... Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Charlotte, that's yours there. Um, it, Charlotte Daly of the Daily Mail is refusing to eat her pancakes and bacon right now. That, that's yours. <laughs> um, it could be anyone. It could be Dillian White. It could be Joseph Parker. It can't be Fury and Usyk. Well, unless something goes wrong with their fitness or they get injured. It could be Zhang. It could be Dubois, it could be Hergovic, it could be 
um, Wilder. If Wilder beat Zhang, wouldn't you watch? Wouldn't you watch Joshua and Wilder at Wembley? If Wilder knocks Zhang out in the opening three rounds, would you not watch Wilder and Joshua at Wembley? Charlie Parsons. I would definitely watch that, mate. The, the, here's the thing: at the moment, you throw the pieces up in the air, and when they land, the heavyweight division in three or four events' time might look completely different. All right, Gareth. Happy. Uh, what are we on Wednesday? Thanks for talking to us at the stomping ground. Bosh. Bosh.